This is a brief demonstration of a Galileo thermometer and it's a glass cylinder filled with a liquid, probably an alcohol water sluice, not real sure what's in this model. But these plugs in here, and you can see there's different colors, that's just so you can see them easily, have a metal tag on each one. Each of those metal tags has got a temperature on it. This particular 18 inch model, the lowest uh, blue one down here is tagged at 66 degrees F. They go in two degree and increments all the way up to 84 degrees F. And the way this works is as the temperature heats up, the liquid loses density. Since each of these is calibrated to have a slightly different density, when the density drops to the point of where the lowest hanging float starts to move down, in this model, that's the temperature in theory of what's on the tag. Now, in actual practice, I found that it takes time for this water or liquid to heat up. And uh, so if you're comparing it to a mercury thermometer, this will probably fall behind it. The accuracy uh, is not as good as you'll find in something like a standard thermometer. <clears throat> but it's a very, very interesting device. And right now our room temperature, according to our wall thermostat is 74. The lowest hanging float here is um, 72. And so it could be on the edge of coming down and it could fall at any time. But just a little bit of a history about the thermometer. Galileo Galilei was born in Pisa, Italy in about 1564. He was a physicist, mathematician, engineer, astronomer, philosopher. And he invented something called a thermoscope uh, where a liquid in a tube rose and fell with temperature. The actual uh, Galileo thermometer is, according to Wikipedia, is credited to a group of academics and technicians known as the Academia del Cimento of Florence. We'll watch a time-lapse video and that'll end this presentation.